Hey everybody, my name is Charlie. I'm the lead guitarist in Julian the Phantoms. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Edge of Grey. To start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little warm up. It's just a really basic beginner scale. And then after that, I'll move on to the verse, pre courses, choruses. I'll do the bridge and then the breakdown. And the breakdown that I'm going to do is going to be the fun breakdown from the TV show. So you'll get to solo out a little bit. First of all, I'm just going to show you a really simple scale. And what you're going to do is Run it for like five, 10 minutes. Once you have it down pat, it's gonna, what, what it's gonna do, it's gonna really help you out for when you try to do solos and when you're trying to have a bit of finger placement, you're gonna have a lot more strength in your fingers. So I like to just run this basic scale and it goes like this. Start off slow, go fast, it's gonna help you out in the long run. Let's dive into Edge of Grey. What's kind of fun in the song is when the guitar actually comes in, all you have is this major F chord, just no more strings other than the F. And then take your whammy, and then it cuts, okay? And then you start playing. So, the chords are pretty simple. You're gonna go F, C, Verses, what I like to do is I like to do like eight notes and then when I get to the pre-chorus What I like to do is I like to maybe spread it out a little more and then for the chorus You can just start rocking so try to have a crescendo with the way that you're playing in your right hand So you're gonna start off big F Whammy Cut it and then finding the notes, if you're having trouble with your placement, honestly, the best way to learn is go slow and then speed up, okay? Um, now, it, we're gonna move on to the bridge. So the bridge, you're gonna start off over on the B flat. <laughs> Verses, the pre courses, the choruses, and even know how to play the bridge. But now it's time for the breakdown, my favorite part because you get the solo out a little bit. What I suggest you do is I suggest you learn the melody in your head before you start playing it on the guitar. It's a lot better to, to be able to sing it first because you'll know which notes you really want to slide through. It really connects. And then also, what I suggest is start off slow, you guys. It's slow makes perfect and practice makes perfect, right? Um, and especially because there's a few parts, it's a little harder to hit certain notes. I think it's a lot better if you start off slow, then your fingers get adjusted to how you play it as well. You start off on the second string, slide all the way up to the 13. Uh. What I'm gonna do is I'll take it a little slower and hopefully you can follow along here. One, two, three, four. So 
that's it, you guys. You know how to warm up. You know how to play edge great. Check out my next video. It's going to be on set. Cheers. Standing on the